Hey Vikes, this Sunday is Veterans Day and we talked to a few people about it. We have a change in next week's schedule and we caught up with the band. I'm Mason. And I'm Emery and here's your news. Remember, Tuesday is an odd day. Let's find out with Mr. Monahan. I'm with Mr. Monahan, and he's going to talk to us about the schedule change next week. So, when is the schedule change? So, we switched our blue and our red days so that we could have assembly on Tuesday and Thursday and, and during seminar time and not impact learning. What is the assembly about? Well, the first assembly on Tuesday is Mr. Hines, and Mr. Hines is a man that does a really good job of talking about suicide and his own personal experiences with suicide where he jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and at the last second realized he wanted to live and then adjustments that he made and now has got a whole new perspective on life which he loves to share with teenagers. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well on Thursday um, the assembly will be similar in anti-bullying message and also anti-suicide message and what we can do to help one another. Thank you Mr. Monahan. Don't forget Vikes, there's no school on Monday. Tuesday and Thursday are odd days and Wednesday and Friday. Sounds like our seminars will be pretty eventful this coming week. Now let's get into the news. Robotics Club t-shirt order forms need to be given to Mr. Kuhn and N15 by November 30th. If you would like to go to Boston and New York for a Broadway show, then come to the Seaman High School Library Thursday, November 29th at 7 p.m. Please park in South Parking Lot. The North Snook will be open on Friday, November 16th during the four lunch periods. Plan on stopping by and purchasing the latest Viking apparel. This week's safe prize winner is Jade Slimmer. Stop by Mrs. Guy's room N14 to pick up your prize. Veterans Day is on Sunday, so we talk to some veterans at our school. Sunday, November 11th marks an important day to many Americans. Veterans Day, a holiday meant to recognize those who served our country. I was in uh, the Army for four years. I was in 19, left for basic June 1st, 1981, and got out of the regular Army June 1st, 1985. And then I spent four years in the Army National Guard, and uh, that was from like 85 to like 89. I initially started in the Marines, um, did three years, got out in 1994, uh, finished up college, actually even did a year of active duty in 2002 with the Army, and I've been in the Reserves ever since, and the Guard ever since 2009, so I've been in the last nine years doing Guard and Reserve side for the Army. Um, I was in the Navy from uh, January of 1985 till January of 1991. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to serve in the Army, Navy, or any other branch. But these veterans have experiences they will remember for the rest of their lives. Oh, it was just, it was tough. Back when I went through basic training, it was tough. I mean, drill sergeants were tough on us. It was just, you know, it was, if you ever seen the movie Full Metal Jacket, that's what basic training was like. And it was tough. It was, you know, we earned it. We earned our, we earned our, uh, you know, we earned our, right to be military man, you know, and uh, I think the proudest time of my time was when I got my E-5 pinned on me with my sergeant, and it was just, it was a great, it's just great to be a veteran. It's a good career, it's a commitment. You get to do a lot of things, see a lot of different people. I'm kind of glad I've done it. Um, learned a lot of cool skills. Um, the benefits are really good. Looking forward to retiring here in about 10 years from Uncle Sam and uh, really enjoyed the time. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I got out of high school, so I, I joined the, the Navy and um, I went to a nuclear power training school and learned how to operate nuclear reactors and, and then did that in the Navy for the rest of the time I was in there. So it taught me uh, some really good skills, um, uh, math, science, uh, along with uh, discipline. So uh, when I got out, I, I went to college and, and got my degree in physics. Veterans Day is important to many people in the United States. Let's see what it means to these veterans. It's a lot. I was just proud to serve. You know, I was in the Army. I got to spend, see a lot of good country. I got to go see, live two years in Germany. And I got to see a lot. I got to do a lot. And it's just, I'm just proud to be a veteran. You know, it was just a great feeling to be a veteran and serve that time and get to do that. And I spent, you know, I got to spend time in Fort Belvoir, Virginia. 
and uh, it was right down from the Pentagon. I got to do uh, Ronald Reagan's inauguration back then, you know, full guard duty on in. It's just, I got to do a lot of stuff and I'm just proud to be a veteran and proud for people that are veterans. Veterans Day for me means just remembering those who have served, some made a, a big sacrifice. We've all made a little bit of a sacrifice here and there, missing our families and um, even being deployed or going to long schools. So it's remembering everybody who's putting the time and the heart into doing what they love. Um, it's, a, it's a day that, uh, that the, the nation honors the, the people who served in the military. A special thanks to all the veterans out there. Make sure you say thank you to any veteran you know over this holiday weekend. Mr. Payne, you know, what's his name, Samuel Payne? Welcome to the family. He's going in the army, so I just want to welcome him to the family. And good luck, man. And when you think things are going bad, just hang in there and keep going. So I just want to thank him. He's part of our family now. And thank you. If you know any veterans, be sure to thank them on Sunday for their service. Congratulations to the JV Scholars Bowl team on taking second place at the 16-team Wamigo Invitational this week. Team members were Molly McLaughlin, Forrest Brungart, Ike Pringle, Micah Kobacheski, and Theo Wagden. Saturday's annual Fall Into Fitness Run registration packet will be in the East High School Commons before the race. Awards ceremony will take place there afterwards. Please turn in your physical and concussion form prior to tryouts in the athletic office. Tryouts begin Monday, November 12th. These are available on the Seaman High School website or stop by the athletic office to get packet, packet of all forms. All right, Josh is going to tell us how cold it's going to be this weekend. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing the Fine Arts of Seaman High. The entry deadline is December 21st. The banner design must be vertical. The dimensions are 33 by 80. The design must represent the fine arts at Seaman High. Honey, where's my SGTV? Do you plan on going to college? Have you taken the ACT? If not, don't worry. The state of Kansas is offering a free ACT test to any junior or senior who has not taken it on February 20th. Fill out the survey on Schoology to apply. If you don't want to take the ACT, they are also putting on a work keys test. Again, fill out the survey on Schoology. Well, Vikes, it was a snowy end to the day yesterday, and officially at the Billard Airport, we got 2.3 inches of snow, and that adds to our season total, making it now 2.8. It was the record amount of snowfall for that day, so again, pretty early, again, for this time of year to be talking about snow. But now the focus goes on the cold, so let's go out live outside to Mr. McAllister. Good morning, Vikes. Today, it's cold, a little bit of snow on the ground. It's chilly, it's overcast, it's gray, much like it was November 9th, 1918, when Wilhelm II abdicated the throne of Germany, essentially ending World War I. This, this weekend is the day that history changed, not just for the nation, not just for Europe, but for the world, because this is the centennial, the ending of World War I, the day everything changed. Thanks for that report. And as we go throughout the next few hours, it's going to be getting colder. This colder air is settling in. So temperature is going to be 28, but with a nearly 20 mile per hour northwest wind, it's going to feel like just 16 degrees by the time school gets out. So get ready. It's going to be feeling, feeling very cold outside. And as we head into tomorrow morning for the Fall Into Fitness 5K, cold weather continues. That's right, 13 degrees for 8 o'clock, and then by the time all the races are wrapping up, we might try to break into the 20s for a wind chill Saturday morning. And then later in the day on Saturday, if you're heading out to the Sunflower Showdown in Bill Snyder Family Stadium, 11 o'clock for the start of the game, just 18 degrees for a wind chill, and slowly we climb through the 20s. So it's going to be a very cold first half of the weekend. So 
be prepared and bundle up if you have any plans for Saturday. Also, we are talking about a storm system Sunday night into Monday. More model trends have been pushing this to the south. So while there remains a very small chance of an isolated sprinkle or flurry, I think most of the activity does stay down in southern Kansas and Oklahoma. But as we head later into next week, more fall like weather returns. That's right. Highs in the 50s along with more sunshine start on Wednesday. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that again, that colder weather comes back to Monday and Tuesday with highs in the 30s. But we jump right back out of that along with more sunshine later next week. Now back to your anchors. All right, that's it for today, Vikes. The band is currently in New York, so we'll leave you with some shots of them on their trip. Have a good one. I'm tired